Reading is a good way to pass the time. It helped a local woman get through her pandemic blues. She never expected so many people to join her. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road in Snell Isle with an avid reader who is getting books into the community's hands by the thousands. I was bored in quarantine. This all started because I was bored in quarantine. Christine Dowen is a bit of a book nerd. I've always loved to read. And has gone to great lengths to share her passion. You want to put that where? At the end of our driveway? Not even a case of pandemic blues could curb her love for reading. So last May, she started setting out books on her curb. Yeah, I just want to fill it with books and let people go by and see what happens. Free books for anyone to take, an idea that took off. Unfortunately, the Tampa Bay Times closed their St. Petersburg plant. And with that closure, they were going to just have to either dispose of the boxes or find someone to take them. So we decided to take all 108 and try to find homes for them. This has been a huge project. Christine started a group called St. Pete Shush. The shush is actually the collective noun for a group of librarians. And made a lot of noise, scooping up unused newspaper bins and getting to work. Painting and placing little free libraries all around town. We're now at 185 boxes in 165 locations. And I have another 82 in my driveway that are all going to homes soon. The children's books go like crazy. The, I can't keep it stocked fast enough. I never pictured this, and I would never have guessed that so many people would be so passionate about this project. So I estimate that by now we've spread out at least 100,000 books. 100,000 down. Who knows how many books to go? Christine's is a story still being written. It's just made a huge difference in the lives of You've so probably many. seen some of those when you've been driving around town. Christine registered her boxes as official little free library locations. There are more than 120,000 of them spread across every continent in the world.